What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to interact with foliage actors. Basically, for example, chopping down foliage trees or destroying foliage rocks, anything that is basically painted or randomly generated using the uh, Unreal Engine foliage. So let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. All right, so I'm gonna just start creating a new level so I can show you the whole process. I'm gonna choose the open world template as it will already have a simple um, terrain created, as you can see. Okay, so I actually have some trees over here. So if I go into here, I have my static mesh over here that we're gonna be basically placing on our terrain. So what we're going to do is go here into foliage. And because there's already a landscape, what I can do is just drag my static mesh into this drop down over here. Now it will say to create a new uh, foliage actor mesh. So we can put whatever name and it will create a new one. So now you can see that we can select it and now we can start painting the trees. Now there's a lot of them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically decrease the density even more and just paint like that. Okay, so now we have basically these trees. But the thing is that these trees are not interactable. They're not actual actors that are rendered in a different way. So we can basically just right cast into this and directly get the actor and destroy it. This is because it is a foliage actor and it renders a bit differently. And you can see by default also we don't have collisions and stuff. So let's just begin by enabling the collision. So let's go ahead and select our tree over here. And what we can do is go down and say collision presets to be block all. Okay, so now we have collisions enabled on our trees. So the next step will be basically actually um, accessing by a right cast into the tree, but getting its static mesh instance of the foliage component and being able to destroy this individual tree. So you'll see and basically understand it much better when we actually start with the code. So let's go ahead and open my third person character blueprint. Of course, you can use whatever character blueprint you're using. It's going to go into this nice clean area. So I'm going to say uh, left mouse button. So basically, I will just shoot a right cast. So what we're going to do is just make a nice line trace by channel. Basically, just an invisible line that it will just impact with a point. So basically, this will start from our camera. So we're going to get the camera and get its weld location. And then this is going to be our starting point. Then I want to basically get its rotation. So get the weld rotation and then we're going to find the forward vector. So basically to find where we are looking with the camera and then we can basically multiply. I'm going to right click and convert this into float. So this is going to be basically the distance that we want to be able to interact with any actor. So this is going to be, for example, a thousand. It's going to say. And then the last thing is that we have to add these two vectors together. This control, put this one down and then there we go. So that will be our end point. So we don't have to touch anything more over here. I'm just going to set the uh, the book type into a four duration so you can just preview the line trace. But yeah, we'll not be using it right now. Actually, I can show you. And if we now press play, you will see that if when I press left mouse button, you will see a red line. So this will be the impact point. So now if I press on the tree, it will uh, basically collide, but we cannot do anything. So what you would normally do with an actor will be basically, well, first, let's check if we have actually collided with something. And then what we're going to do is get the outhead and the break hit result. So we can have all the parameters basically the, of the object that we have hit. So normally what you do is just get the hit actor and destroy the actor. But you will see what will happen. So if I were to do this, if I press play and now we'll into a, uh, basically a, a tree and then right left click, uh, you will see that all the trees disappeared. And it is because basically Unreal Engine makes groups of the foliage actors. So basically it's making groups together and displaying it as one mesh. So this is why um, we cannot directly, you know, just destroy it like that. And it's harder to interact with foliage actors and we have to do uh, some more things. So this is just done for performance uh, reasons. So we cannot do this anymore. So what we need to do is get the hit component. And what we need to do is cast to the foliage instance static mesh component. Now, what is this? Well, if we go here into the foliage mode, you will see that if we go into our tree, the component class is basically that one, the foliage uh, instance static mesh component. So we can access basically its component and then um, have more details about it. So 
what we can do now is basically call this really handy function which is uh, remove instance so now we can actually remove an instance basically each tree is an instance so we're basically accessing one individual tree from the group of foliage trees basically and then what we can do is get the ins uh, the instance index now the thing is that where we have to get the instance index well we can just get it from our line trees so it will be here in the hit item so we can just plug it in over here so now if we compile and just go ahead and press play we can now go into one of our trees and you'll see that we'll be actually able to destroy individual trees you can see guys it's really working it is a very simple and easy way of just interacting with your foliage so you can use this and just add a simple health system for your trees and basically make it so that you know you can actually chop it and it will take some hits and then basically just replace the tree with a fake one at the end that will have some physics so it will fall or for example have some rocks that you can mine basically using this now if you want to get more detail what you can actually can do is create your own blueprint um basically a uh, child of this um component so make basically make a, a blueprint class that will be inherited from this component and you can access all these details and then add your health system inside that and then what you can do is just uh, replace it in the component class over here so yeah guys that's it if you found this so helpful and i want to see more content like this drop a like and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials so check them out now yes with all i said bye bye